All right, day one in the bag. We uh, are at Devil's Canyon Campground outside of Blanding, Utah. It's a really nice camp around. It's got a big canyon just right here across the street from us. Uh, may go hike and explore that. Highway's kind of close to where we're at, so you can hear cars. Hopefully that'll let up at night. But it's a nice big site. I'm guessing this is typically for an RV right here. Um, there's no water in the site itself. But it's a huge site we got three tents in here easy you uh go back up in here we got our fire ring and a picnic table pretty nice spot anything on the ground is fair game according to the park host we can burn it if we can pick it up um got my tent way back there in the back on a nice level spot with no dead branches over it kids are over here no dead branches over them bathroom just back there behind their tents out of stink zone so that's kind of nice and close decent enough for a vault toilet but uh great day riding uh we started in farmington went to four corners uh went through cayente got up to mexican hat which is pretty cool looking mountains and then uh went through valley of the gods counterclockwise Went past the road that goes over to uh, Moki Dugway and then came back through uh, Valley of the Gods, which drops you out right at the bottom of Moki Dugway. And then we did Moki Dugway. Daniel blitzed right to the top, you know, like he was nothing, as expected. He was already coming back down to take pictures by the time Sarah and I got two-thirds of the way up. She did really good. You know, she's got a fear of heights. She doesn't have a lot of experience riding dirt other than on flat dirt back in Texas. Nothing with steep hills like that. Got to the first corner, kind of froze up, didn't drop it, didn't stall, didn't do anything bad. She just stopped, had to psych herself up, so I waited with her. And then she went to the rest of the way without stopping. And uh, got to the top, gave her a big hug and a high five, and she had a good cry. And then we walked around and took pictures. And, you know, it's one of those retroactive fun things. You know, a week or two from now, she's going to be like, man, that was so awesome. But right now, she's still kind of like, yeah, I don't know about that but uh so we did that and then ran back over to highway 95 we were coming down 95 towards comb wash where the big cliffs are and a car had gone off the road in some rain and flipped and every airbag in the thing had gone off and then ambulance went by as we were passing it there was already a trooper there so we didn't stop life flight showed up a little later and then by the time we got into blanding the life flight helicopter was landing at the little hospital there so we stopped and grabbed dinner and blending at the subway and then hauled out here to the campground. It's a really nice campground for 20 bucks a night. The camp host is a really nice guy. Didn't charge us because we got an extra bite. You know, technically you're only supposed to have two. Um, and the spot we're in is really big. We got some guys with KTM 798 90s down the way. We might go pester a little later. But overall, great day. You know, high of 93 in Valley of the Gods. Low of 69 when that rain was coming down and we came in behind the rain so we didn't even get wet. You know, we just rode on wet pavement, but it was really nice because it cooled it off after we'd come up Moki Dugway and we were sweating. So this is just a beautiful part, you know, just have a look around. Just, you can tell people have gone all up in the woods looking for firewood and stuff. There's a ton of it just right here by our spot. So great place. Tomorrow should be a little bit easier day. We're not gonna be riding quite as far. That's a wrap.